Welcome to part two of our video series. We are making a foot massager and using basic wood turning tools. My name is Jason with Geyser Wood Turner, and today we're using a spindle roughing gouge, and we're going to make a lot of messes. It'll be fun. The first tool that we're going to be using on our project is called a spindle roughing gouge, and it's generally a tool with a 45 degree bevel, a deep flute, and a small tang that goes into the handle and we use this tool between centers on the lathe and we're not going to want to use it on a bowl or anything like that because it's only designed to be used for spindle work and it's to make a piece round it's made for blunt force trauma and if you use it in a bowl it can snap that tang and that can be very dangerous a good way to remember wood turning safety is by using your ABC's a stands for anchor. You anchor your tool on the tool rest and make sure it stays there and doesn't come off. B stands for bevel and that is the end of the tool and you make sure that your angle is set correctly and then you make your cut and you lock that handle into your body at that angle and you move across the tool rest. Set the angle properly by holding the handle down low and then raising the handle up until you get the proper angle for your cut. Always remember that wood can come off the lathe, so I recommend using a full face shield, or if you're doing something smaller, at least eye protection. In the last video, we talked about how to safely turn on your lathe, and then we're gonna practice our ABCs. So anchor it on the tool rest, rest the bevel on the wood, raise the handle until we get that cut, and then move across the piece. And we're always gonna be wanting to work from uphill to downhill, or the highest point to the lowest point. The idea here is to take just a little bit off at a time in a series of passes. I always say that you don't want to eat an entire pizza all in one bite. And same thing with wood turning. You don't want to take all one bite to shape that piece of wood or it's going to be disastrous. I hope that from this angle you'll be able to get an idea of what I'm doing with the tool. So I rest it on the tool rest, I put it up against the piece of wood, and then I raise the handle until I get a cut and then I swipe it across the piece of wood and I use my whole body. I don't just move my hands. Um, that way it helps me keep that angle and I'm not putting a lot of pressure on the piece of wood. It helps me take just as much off of the piece of wood as I would like to. And now for the fun part of wood turning. I never really grew up so I really enjoy watching these messes being made and throwing shavings all over the place. And this is really cool because you can see how the shavings run right up the flute of that tool and go everywhere. It's awesome. As I work my way to the other end, I want to remain going from high point to low point. So I'm going to start at the other end and continue to go from that high point to the low point on my wood blank and that way I'm not going to go against the grain and it's not going to tear any big pieces off at a time. I can continue to have small bites and small passes until I get this piece completely round. One of the ways you can check to see if you're round is by lightly resting your fingers across the top and feeling for any bumps. You can also rest your chisel on the top and if it bounces you're not round. If you present the ground bevel on the end of your tool to the wood with the handle low, you're not going to get a cut at all. If you raise it a little bit, it'll get a cut. If you raise it a little more, it'll get more aggressive. So you can see how you have a lot of control with the handle. So if I drop it down, no cut at all. As I raise it up a little bit, I get a cut. And I want to keep that angle and move it with my body, and that'll give me a lot of control over what I'm doing. A lot of wood turners refer to this as riding the bevel. Now if your cut ever gets too aggressive, you can just drop that handle and eliminate your cut. And it gives you a lot of control over what you're doing. And in wood turning, that's important because control is what makes you safe. This concept is so important to learn. I'm gonna show you that a little bit closer up. So I've got the handle dropped, I'm rubbing the bevel. As I raise the handle, it starts to cut. And then I can move that along the piece of wood in that cut and I keep that locked in as I go across. So again, with the handle dropped, no cut, raise it, cut. No cut, and cut. 
Another cool thing you can do with a spindle roughing gouge is rotate that gouge to the side and it presents a sharp edge to the workpiece. Now if you see me doing this in a video, it's not because I have to, it's just because I like that sharp edge. Thanks for joining us in part two of our video series on using beginning wood turning tools. In this video we used a spindle roughing gouge and we made a blank round that we're going to use for our foot massager. In the next video we're going to use a parting tool.